Aren't we fortunate we have such a diverse mind that appears to offer control or choices? It's wonderful to have ego and to say, I, I will decide. I don't know whether I will give or take. I don't know whether I will support that team or this team. You know, I'm important. I have so much choices to make. So much things to do in this world. So much places to see. People to meet. I will go and I will make a path. Yeah, at some point I will have to... Um, <coughs> experience my own day of judgment by myself to say right time to reassess what's going on why is there this internal pull why whatever I do doesn't seem to satisfy my mind my body my soul my spirit my personal me yes it's great it's fun I have so much joy passion Yes, pain comes, but it goes. I'm one of the fortunate ones. I've never experienced these illnesses. And when I do, I will just have to put up with it. Yes, that's the way it is, you know. I'm so glad I have choice. I'm so glad I have preferences and able to make comparisons. I can judge when I want to. And I can stay out of it when I don't want to. I can take sides. I can change my sights. I can look for happiness tomorrow. And you know what? I can look for some sin the next day. I don't know what the problem is about. The only problem really is when you have to make that day of judgment, that internal call says, you know, how's your life going? Have you found your purpose? Have you fulfilled the whole aim of being here? Are you happy, content? Are you depressed, miserable? Are you the one that keeps going and keeps going and keeps going and then one day drops down and says, hmm, where did my life go? I thought it was supposed to be enjoyable, but I've sacrificed everything to this work ethic, this religious ethic, this giving and giving and giving and not taking. My life has been one-sided. Where is God? Can God help me? And God appears. Out of the blue. No warning. Simply confronts you. And says, you know what? I'm going to give you the biggest choice you can have. I'm going to give you the choice that you can continue to seek for me because of course this experience is not a full-blown total godly experience it's just a kind of dream. It's a little whisper. It's a little insight or synchronicity they call it in that angelic world. So I'm going to give you this choice. You can go and continue to seek for me with the, the intent that when you know that I exist, and of course you will right now, but when you wake up in the morning, all of this will be gone. So when you know that I exist and that I exist as something absolutely forgiving and pure, Will you continue to have this choice and say, well, thank you very much, God. At least I know when all of this is over that I, when I leave this body, will be going home to you, that pure one. So I'm at ease. So therefore I will continue with this 
life of ego, of individuality, because you came and you spoke to me in my dream. So therefore, you're allowing me to continue with this quest. And God says, well, okay, but I'll give you the second choice. The second choice is this. That you wake up in the morning. And you don't just know that I exist, so therefore it's okay to go ahead and just be that egoistic mind state individual person with the knowledge that I will save you because I can come and save you anytime I like. Or I'm going to give you the opportunity to be a reflection of me. And in your dream state you say, what does that mean? Explain. Well, God says, well, you know me, I have no sides. I am non-judgmental. The Bible was written in truth. I commit no sins. I see no good and no bad. I see no differences, no preferences. I see nothing but total allness, oneness. I see that in your mind state world that boredom is boring for you and involvement with sports is exciting for you but I see no differences I see all as the same I see everything as the same I see everything as equal nature, science, you, religion I don't have preferences I make everything one complete, pure unbelievably omnipotent, omnipresent thing. And you are part of that. If you live your life in truth, that is, of course. And so you say, yeah, what does that mean? I have to be like you. You mean boring? Non-judgmental? Do I have to just give up this control? Yes, said God, you give up the idea that you are single. You give up the idea that you're special and non-special because you know you're special. I came and I met you. So why would you have to go on thinking or believing or acting out this special them when you know you are already special? You are already everything that I made you. And if you trust, accept and have faith, when you wake up in the morning, and you lose this control, you lose this ego state, you lose this idea of thinking your way out of situations. I am miraculous, says God. I am a miracle man. I come to save you every night in your dreams and give you these choices. Will I not be able to have so many sexual account encounters? Will I not be able to drink in the pubs? God says, you can do anything you want, providing you don't use the word I, or me, or you. If you can waken up in the morning and simply refuse, or simply ignore, or simply dehypnotize into your usefulness of these words, I, me, and you, you will remove your singularity, that control ethic. Everything will continue as it is. But there will be no you, me, or I experiencing it. You will experience it as myself. One whole, pure experience. Life is not broken up into segments, says God. Mind breaks it up to say birth, life, and death. None of this is true. Life is life. It starts as life and it ends as life. So where is the beginning and the end? Same quality, same essence, same 
value. All is as that what it is. And you say, no, I'm bo I, I don't trust that. You see, I like. God says, okay, you like pain. It matters not. It matters not which path you choose. You can have the choice of acting out, pretending you're God, and God knowing that you're not doing a great job. You can go out ignoring God and saying, well, I know God will save me, so I'm just going to have fun and do everything that the Bible says not to do. Or you can know me in this dream. You can truly know me. You don't have to worship me. Stay in presence. Be aware. I can let you come and go. But in your being here, in your beingness, trust that boredom is not what mind says it is. Trust that pain is not what mind said it is. Death is not what mind says it is. Joy, depression, is not what mind says it is. It is fluctuations of consciousness, my consciousness. You think God can breathe systematically, pure, every moment of the day? Can you? There are slight and differences that are corrected every day by consciousness, by my consciousness. The consciousness creates it, consciousness fixes it. When you become that I, you think you are the fixer, you think you are the chooser, and you will suffer a life of pain, pleasure, and that's okay, because I am God, and I give you choice. Know me. And face up to me when it's time to face up to me in reality, not in this dream state. And I will be there. Or accept me in this dream. And accept me in every dream. And you will become instantly a reflection of what I am. You will live every life in a pure, loving, omnipotent, omnipresent state. You will not have to experience enlightenment, awakening, pain, pleasure, because these are all fluctuations of consciousness. Why not experience that pure consciousness in every moment and every day? Mindless, but with mind, that is enough to keep you alive and here and present in this negotiation there is no choice you see whatever the choice you choose you always have to come to me at the end but the end I will put you back to become the beginning because in God there is no end no I me and you there is only one moment one whole infinite whole, spiritual, silent being, that's your state, and that's my state. If you live it pure, you won't have to know God, you will become God, in a silent, most profound and deep way. You're already that, but when you wake up in the morning, if you want to experience that, trust, accept and have faith in this dream that you are, that I am. God offers choices, offers mind, offers consciousness, offers life, offers body. You take it and you think it's there to be blasphemized and used and abused and whatever. And it is, but always with yourself in mind, not your ego self, not that I-driven, needful, desiring, attaching, association, me-self, but the self that is here in truth, 
You, the real you, come forward. Come into the dream. Wake up from the ego dream and experience your rebirth in the pure new dream that all is experiencing and unfolding through being a reflection of God in this moment right now as it is.